Okay, so now we have a new... A new settlement. Villagers with low resolve will start leaving, increasing the queen's impatience. Keeping resolve exceptionally high will grant passive reputation over time. Satisfying your villagers' needs with complex food, homes, and services will increase their resolve. Oh, I see. So, like, jerky is a complex food because you have to make it, right? You can't just eat the meat off of something. You have to smoke it. Um, biscuits, pie, human housing specifically, because there are different houses for different species. Um, it's just that there's also one shelter that works for all of them, which is what I've been using. Clothing, apparently, is good for, for folks. That makes sense. Leisure. Religion. Shelter. Interesting. Okay. All species require at least the basic shelter from the constant rainfall and wind. This need is fulfilled in temple, monastery, or clan hall. Leisure is in ta taverns, monasteries, and forums. You need coats for clothing. Okay, okay, I'm getting this. Each species has a different mix of needs. It's hard to please everyone all of the time. Okay, so the resolve is this green, um, this green number here. Farmers can plant only on farm fields and those can only be built on fertile soil. Okay. Crops are planted in the first season, drizzle, and harvested during the second, clearance season. And then during the storm, you can't be planting or doing anything. I'm really upset about these, like, Omastar-looking things up here. I feel like they're gonna attack me. Build a farm, harvest grain, and serve some ale in a tavern. Okay, I think I could do that. Okay, so we've got three of each. We've got 15 resolve for humans. The resolve for the lizards isn't doing great at the moment. We'll start by building some paths. Slick shell broodmother. Small slick shells are crawling out of the openings in the broodmother's shell. It's easy to collect them. Oh, I need a trapper camp for them. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, Muncie, I agree. It does look like you will have to choose which species you want to make the most happy. And it's going to depend, I think, on what's around. So because we've got a lot of farmland here, I'm going to want to make the humans happy because the humans are the best at farming. Whereas the beavers are the best at woodworking and engineering, and the lizards are the best at picking meat. So if there was a lot of meat around, then a lot of lizards would be good. I think. I don't know. I'm figuring this out still. Okay. So with the uh, first point of renown, or the zero point of renown, I guess I should say, we get a small farm which produces vegetables at one star and grain at two stars, which means it's going to be more efficient at grain than it is at vegetables. Now, do I have to also make farm field? I do. Okay, there we go. Get everyone to work. Ooh, read more. Reputation points. You can gain reputation points in three different ways by successfully completing orders, by exploring your surroundings, or by keeping your villagers very happy. 
Orders are very straightforward. You always get at least one reputation point for each of them. To gain reputation for villager well-being, you have to increase the resolve so that it reaches the reputation threshold indicated by the blue line. So hold on, let's take a look at that. So I guess it's this... Oh, there's the blue line right there. You can barely see it. This resolve is this green indicator. And this little blue line here is where I start earning reputation points. Okay, okay, I'm getting there. You can customize recipes in production buildings and decide what is being crafted, from which ingredients, and at what limit. To do so, select a building or use the global recipe panel. To disable or enable a recipe for a specific good, mark the checkbox, we were doing that before. To change the ingredients used, select a resource in the recipe and choose another good from the radial menu. To set a limit on production, use the horizontal bar in the limit section or type a number. Okay, okay, okay. Because we don't necessarily want to produce things infinitely, right? That's not always what we want. The beavers even dress like dwarves. I swear to God, they're dwarves. Alright, so the fertile ground is becoming farmland. We're building our farm. Looks like these little uh, slick shells are not going to be aggressive at us. That's nice. Okay, and we have... Put a couple of humans in here, since I believe they're the best at farming in this game. And it, ha it tells me I have new orders. Oh, I made a small farm, I made a farm field, I'm gonna get two more humans and 25 barrels, as well as a reputation. And then anytime you get a new point of reputation, I'm gonna forget this a lot, the moment you get a new reputation, you gotta click this crown right here, to get new blueprints so that you can build new buildings. In this case, a shelter. Which is good, because I've got a bunch of homeless folks that really would like a place to live. Please and thank you. Um, but I need more wood and stuff. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop a woodcutter camp out here. I keep wanting to right click it to rotate it for some reason. That's not the way it works. Looks like we're planting some crops here, that's good. Now we've got lots of resources around, like in our in our immediate vicinity, so that's that's really nice. Muncie, you absolute legend. Thank you very much for getting me past the 50% mark on my uh, July subscription goal. Could not do it without you. Thank you very much, my friend. No, that's not what I want. I want to clear these trees. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna like go straight through into that glade. Muncie, what are you doing? Gifting eleven subs. Okay, hold on. Back up for just a second. I am I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in. Look, look at that. Oh man, I, I don't even know what to say. All right. First off, Muncie, you absolute legend. Thank you very, very, very much. I appreciate you so much. All right, jumping back into the game. Damn. 
got me up to my, my 25 goal. I guess I have to, to move the goalposts, I suppose. Absolutely spectacular. Okay, so the scavenger camp allows me to get flax and what else? It looks like that's it. The... Stonecutter camp can get me clay or roots. But I don't have a lot of space at the moment. Like, I'd like to put this right by this, this clay, but I don't really have the space. I think what I could do instead is move you. Oh no, I can't because there's no space there either. Okay. So space is an issue in this game, apparently. Which makes sense. We're still going to make the stone cutter camp. We're just going to have to make it a little bit further away than I'd like. And we're going to bump that up in priority. Yeah, I think you're right, 007. Once I get a few trees cut down, I'll be able to place everything. I need to produce two woodcutter camps and two shelters. I also get this cornerstone, reinforced tools, or barrel delivery line. I think I'm going to go with reinforced tools. Just need one more camp and one more shelter. Oh, and here are all of my recipes. I can currently make fabric at a crude workstation, bricks and planks at a crude workstation. Ooh, farming. To start farming, you need a farm building, like a small farm, grove, herb garden, or plantation, uh, and farm fields within its range, which can only be placed on fertile soil. Plants will be sowed during the drizzle and harvested during clearance, if crops are not harvested before the storm, they will wither. You can change the plants you want to sow by selecting the farm and marking the checkbox next to the desired goods icon. If you leave workers assigned to the farm during the storm, they will plow the farm fields, adding extra chance for double yields next year. So you're basically trying to get the, uh, the farm, like, uh, fertilized, yeah? That makes sense to me. So it's giving me grain and vegetables. I'm fine with both of those. I don't need it to, to stop either of those. Yeah, it's a pretty fun game, not gonna lie. I'm having a really good time. Uh, I'm actually going to um, cancel this stonecutter camp and one of these shelters. And instead, I'm gonna make a path out to here and a second woodcutter's camp. It seems like that's what the game wants me to make, so that's what I'm gonna make. During storm, farmers assigned to the farm fertilize it for bonus yield. So they have stuff to do year-round, fertilize during the storm, plant in the drizzle, and harvest in clearance. Yes. So that they're never just not doing anything. Yeah. Good. 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 Good thought. That makes perfect sense to me. So that's done. And we now have the wood for our second shelter. Used to be you'd unassign and reassign them a bit. Yeah. So it, it lowers the amount of micromanagement that you have to do at any given time. And I, I do appreciate that as well. Well, it's like in Stardew Valley during the winter, most of the time you're not planting, right? Oh, we got ourselves a new grove. 
with uh, some slick shells, some fer plenty of fertile soil, and a small encampment. The encampment wants four vegetables and can either give me new people or uh, amber. We're going to send a couple of lizards out there. And then I think we're going to make another farm out there at some point soon. There are no free workers available to complete the construction. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. I do need some unemployment. So I'm going to take one human out of this uh, woodworking camp so that they can come and finish this up. I comprehend how this works. Okay, so second shelter is... Done. Put that person back to work. We're gonna get three parts, we're gonna get two more beavers, and we're gonna get a reputation. Which means, once again, get a reputation, get a new building. Trapper camp. Allows you to collect meat, insects, and eggs. Okay, so this is the second one that can... Scavenger camps can also collect eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and make... We've already got plenty of meat, but we still need to make a trapper camp. We got lots of brood shells out here. We've got a few brood shells out here. I think we're gonna start... Yeah, we're going to start by putting it out here. And then once those two are collected, we will move it out here. I think we're going to need to clear out this area for farmland. Sacrificing. During especially hard times, you can sacrifice additional goods in the hearth to temporarily increase your villager's resolve. To do this, select the hearth, navigate to the sacrifice panel, and choose a resource you want to burn. The selected good will be taken from your storage at a rate of one every few seconds. You can control how much is consumed during the arrow or using the arrow buttons. The more you sacrifice, the higher the resolve bonus becomes. Sacrificing consumes resources at a very high rate and might drain your storage very quickly. Always remember to turn it off when you don't need it. Lizards working on it get a bonus where the other building doesn't have any worker bonuses. Yes, that's right. Okay, so lizards get a bonus for working at trapper stations. I understand. Mostly. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. So we're going to put a couple of lizards into the trapper camp, because that's sort of their preferred environment. And they're going to go out and start harvesting this meat. But now that it's built, I can go ahead and complete my order. I'm going to get some fabric, some bricks, some planks, and of course, another reputation. Now I need to make a smokehouse, which will allow me to make jerky, which is going to be, I believe, my very first complex food. It'll also give me some barrels, some builder packs. Any builder can carry five items at once, five more items at once. I like that. And then um, also bonus to meat production. So that is a... Ah, got it, smokehouse. Yep, makes jerky at three is... Is three the maximum efficiency or is there a four? It also makes pottery and incense at much lower, at much lower efficiency. So we'll make the smokehouse. Change ingredient in recipe, okay, okay. Uh, 
I believe we are also going to make a farm right there. We're going to make a path that leads out to said farm. And we're going to make some fields. Three is the max. Got it, got it. So you really want those three-star recipes if you can get them. So it produces jerky, pottery, incense. I only need jerky, so I'm going to take down the pottery and the incense. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Less time to craft and lower crafting costs for higher uh, stars. Yes, that makes perfect sense to me. Now I'm supposed to change an ingredient in the recipe. So instead of insects, I can make it meat. Oh, so I can make insect jerky, mmm, mmm, sounds delicious. Or I can make meat jerky, which sounds a lot better to me. Uh, and then wood, I could also use coal or oil, because I assume it's just looking for heat. Wood is what I have the most of right now, but five wood is a lot, so I'm gonna switch over to coal. And now we're going to speed up time. Okay, now we are in the clearance. We're going to take the speed back down. We're getting there on the jerky. Okay, so it looks like this rotating symbol here means that the um, the species is working with particular efficiency, I'm going to say. And I think it gives them a chance to make double of whatever it is that they're making. So these lizards are great at, at making jerky, it seems. And bingo, bango, bongo, we have jerky, which they are bringing back to the main storage area. There's five. And there's ten. Okay. I have all the jerky I need. We're going to grab some newcomers. Since we seem to be focusing really heavily on meat here in this particular encampment, I'm going to accept these two lizards and their five leather. Oh, right. We also have this order to finish out. Gives us another reputation, which we're immediately going to turn into a brewery. We can make ale, pickled goods, and packs of crops. Your villagers, uh, food. Your villagers need to eat in order to survive. Every few minutes, they will go on break, gather around the hearth, and try to eat something edible from the storage. If nothing they like is available, like pickled goods for beavers, they will eat raw food. If there is no food whatsoever, villagers will get one stack of the hunger effect. Each stack is a resolve penalty, and if the resolve of a species reaches zero, they will start leaving the settlement. Even if you grow vegetables on your farms, the amount of food you produce will soon become insufficient for a growing population. The solution is to process raw foods and thus multiply it, as most recipes in the game yield more goods than raw ingredients used in them. 
That seems like it's violating some law of physics to me, but I'm not going to complain. Some perks can further increase that ratio or even generate additional food as a byproduct. Now, my food is sitting at 112, so I seem to be doing okay on that. That said... I also want to go out... to here... and build... Another trapper camp, I think, now that I've got some more lizards. Alright, so we need to make a brewery, we need to change an ingredient in the recipe, we need to make six ale. So a brewery is a industrial building. I need more space. I can probably move this woodcutter camp somewhere. Set the brewery right here. Okay, um, what was I doing? I am making a brewery. I'm gonna make it right there. We're gonna put high priority on it. And we're gonna speed up time. We have this dangerous glade over here, which I definitely want to check out. I think this woodcutter's camp is too far away though. I need a camp that's closer. So let's move you. all the way out here. I got a couple of lizards to put into the trapper camp. Oh, but I need at least one of them to continue building. In fact, let's, let's let them finish the, the, the building first. Then we'll assign them there. Nice, there's the brewery. Humans are good at brewing. Now, I don't want to use grain. I want to use roots, maybe? No, I have the grain. Oh, instead of pottery, I'm going to use barrels to make ale. I am okay with making pickled goods, because I know that it's something that the beavers in my camp really like. We're not going to make any packs of crops. There we go, we're making some beer. We're making some pickled goods. We are in the storm, friends, in year one. Okay, okay. So once again, looming darkness gives us a, a global resolve issue. My resolve seems to be doing okay overall. That said, do I have anything that I've got like a ton of so that I can sacrifice it? Fifteen coal per minute for four bonus resolve. That's a lot. No, I don't think I need to do that right now.
Okay. We got the brewery done. We changed the ingredient. We got our ale. Let's jump into orders. What are we going to get? We're going to get some mushrooms. We're going to get some barrels. We're going to get some planks. And yes, another reputation. Up next, we need to make a tavern, and we need to, to sell beer, essentially. That's going to get us a couple new beavers, that's going to get us some tools, that's going to get us some barrels. And yes, the music is pretty pretty great, not going to lie. It's, it's, very, it's very zen, which is good, because this could be a very stressful game. There's a lot to manage, there's a lot to micromanage. Now, I'm currently fertilizing these crops because it's the storm. But now we have come out of the storm and into the drizzle. I'm supposed to be making a tavern. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to destroy this trapper's camp and some of the pla or some of the paths. And I'm going to make a tavern. which is a city building. We're going to put it right next to the hearth so that people who come back to the hearth to take a break can go into the tavern. What am I missing? I am missing planks. Okay, so I also need... Okay, so we have, we have a couple of steps we need to make first. First thing I need is a crude workstation. So we'll start there. Because I'm going to need some planks. What are these? A worm tongue nest gives us insects and meat. So we've got lots of meat available. That's good. There's another dangerous can or there's another dangerous glade out here. I think the next step is to move this woodcutter camp off to this side and get ourselves access to this glade. We got plenty of food coming in. We've got these advice alerts over on the side here. It wants me to pick a cornerstone. Do I want grain or do I want vegetables and eggs? Well, I'm going to be making a bunch of booze, so I want the grain. So I'm going to take that. I also get either efficient brewing or grain bags. I'm going to take efficient brewing since it seems like making beer is the thing I want to do with this settlement. Now to make a tavern, I think I only needed planks, right? No, I need planks and bricks and fabric. I need all three. Lovely. Okay. So we're going to let our workstation do what it does. In fact, we might even make a second one if we've got the materials for it. Oh, what do we have here? We have a small abandoned cache. If we can bring four simple tools, which I don't have access to yet, but if we get four simple tools there, we can either get some pottery and fiber or we can get some reputation and some amber. Can't do anything with it just yet though. 
I am going to clear out these, though, because there is more farmland over there just in case I need it. Ooh, what do we have up here? I don't like the look of that. Okay, so to start with, we have a big encampment, which if I can bring eight vegetables to it, I can either get new people or uh, more amber. We're gonna go ahead and welcome new people. Lore tablet, which I can move. Okay. Through, or though sealed beneath the muddy ground, their voices ring loud and clear. Maddening, alluring. I assume this is a decoration. We're gonna put it right in the middle of town because who, who cares? I'm sure there's nothing wrong with having a giant whispering tablet in the middle of your town. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so we've got fuming machinery here. Old rain punk machinery left unsupervised. Unstable spark dew fumes fill the area. Once I start it, I have nine minutes before it goes boom. I need to bring 12 spark dew to it. Or I can bring 10 barrels to it. Interesting. Okay, okay. Nasif, I am doing pretty goddamn well, my friend. I'm very glad that you're here. Uh, we're going to send a couple of folks out there. We're going to pull you off of farming. Because again, once I start this, I really want to finish it. So we're going to put yeah. a lizard and a human out there. Uh, we're going to get crystallized growth. Yes. We're going to get some machinery, a box of crystallized dew, and plus two to our crystallized dew production. I don't know what crystallized dew does. Um, I haven't gotten that far yet. Still don't have the simple tools for you. Okay, okay. We're gonna take that farmer down as well to put pri or to put priority on produ production of this uh, this workstation. How are we doing on planks? Getting there. Yeah, there's nobody assigned to my farm at the moment because I'm using them to, to do other stuff. Nice, we're almost there on the big encampment, so that'll give us some more people to work with. That'll make life a lot easier. Is it Thursday? I believe you. It's been summer, I have no idea what day it is. So as you can see, this threat clock is ticking down. If it hits zero, we're boned, but it looks like we're gonna be able to fix it in time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, you're you're like what eight, ten hours ahead of me. I'm at Pacific time. If your name is correct, you're on the other side of the planet from me. I'm really excited for this one to end because I really need these four new people. Okay. Okay, okay, got that done, which means now I should be able to repopulate my farm, put folks in my workshops. We could probably use some more housing. We really need more space. Again, 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 space is necessary. 
We're gonna cut down all these trees over here. Ooh, what do you need? I could get even more people, or I can get Amber. Alright, so we're definitely gonna send a couple of folks out here. We're gonna go for Amber this time. I have never been down under. I have never been down to Australia. It's it's on my to-do list one of these days. Oh wait, no. We're gonna put a path there. And connect those two. Okay, we just need some fabric, and then the tavern will be ready to get going. Are we making beer? We are making beer! We're also making pickled goods. Our smokehouse is still generating a bunch of jerky. We'll go ahead and make pottery and incense as well. It looks like we've got plenty of jerky now. We've got 26 of it. Tavern's going up. I'm so excited. I like how it rises from the ground. Okay, tavern is done. What do we can or what can we do? A place where villagers can fulfill needs, leisure, bloodthirst, uh, passive effects, gleam and tales. Okay, okay, okay. So, leisure is a common good. Um, Oh no, ale is used to create leisure. That makes sense. And then training gear is used to satisfy bloodthirst. It looks like um, lizards like pickled goods as well as jerky. They like the pickled goods as well. You are currently sheltered. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, right. I need people in here. And then what are Gleeman's tales? Every evening, a Gleeman tells stories about past glory in the times before the Great Civil War, plus three to global resolve. I like that, too. We're going to put one of each in there. Um, let's see. We still have plenty to explore. I feel like there's lots of woodworking to be done out here. So we're gonna move... the woodcutter camp. That looks like it's going to be able to cut into both of these two glades. There we go. We got plenty of meat. We got plenty of food coming in. I still don't have the simple tools to help that person out. now in the clearance of year two. We've got five of our 20 leisure done, so we just have to wait at this point.
In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and make some more houses. Psychanthrope, I see your hot chip redemption. Give me just one second and I will do that for you. All right, we got 13 out of 20 leisure. We're making some houses, we're making some new paths. We've got plenty of food coming in. We got trade goods. At some point we should make a trading post. Maybe get rid of that flax field. Do I already have a scavenging camp? Doesn't look like it, so let's make one. There we go. This flax is kind of in the way, right? I'd like to build something there, but I can't because the flax is in the way. We're at 15 out of 20 on leisure. Yeah, you're not wrong there, uh, 007. This has been working pretty well. We've got, we've got some more houses coming. We got ourselves a tavern. We got plenty of food. We got plenty of fuel for the fire. We're doing pretty good. Pretty good. As you can see, some folks are coming back and they sit by the fire and they drink some beer and it's pretty nice. Like jalapeno chips, like like just making dried strips of jalapeno, they might. Seventeen leisure. We're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. Excellent. We have rested, or we've gotten 20 leisure, so we're going to go ahead and do a couple of things. We're going to start with some newcomers. Do we want copper, or do we want copper and grain? I think I just want the copper. Also, we finished an order. Oh, this is going to give us some simple tools. That's nice. We need those. A couple of beavers and some barrels. Uh, keep human resolve above 25 for 30 seconds. I've already done that. If you'll notice, my human resolve is currently sitting at 31. So that's nice. I got an order that I instantaneously already completed, which is going to give me some bonus to grain production as well as a bundle of reeds. And that completes the settlement. Not bad. Not bad at all, and that gives me gets me up to level two. So this is more of a rogue light than a rogue like, yes, because I am gaining bonuses that will continue to help me out in future games. So I got new citadel upgrades. I now have access to a temple where I can do religion education. I can access a scribe, which produces scrolls, ale, and simple tools. I can get a mine, which digs up coal and ore. Uh, Zorg the Trader. He might have cooked uh, and raw. F he might have cooked and raw food, pottery tools, as well as perks and blueprints tied to agriculture for sale. So when I set up a, a trading post, this guy Zorg might come up and and uh, do business with me. Big fan of that. Over diligent woodworkers. Some woodworkers just can't stop working. Gain three barrels for every ten planks produced. I like that. We also unlocked Shelter and Makeshift Post. Makeshift Post can produce packs of crops and provisions and building, mat building materials. It's just a place to make packs of stuff. That makes sense. I also got some food stockpiles and some machinery. And then it does... I do have this one last um, order here. My settlement's done. I can stop now. But, if I make 10 packs of provisions, I'll get a little more rep and some more 
Ooh, it'll give me the, the option to, to gain more jerky as well. So we are going to do that. Hockey chips, huh? Okay, I will take a look. Okay, so I can make the beaver house, the lizard house, or the human house. Um, how are resolve looking right now? All of their resolve is doing really, really well. So it's either going to be beavers or, or lizards. I think it's going to be lizards. So we're going to go ahead and select the lizard house. And the makeshift post. Now we've got this nice wide open space here that we can make into a, like a secondary settlement. So we're going to do that. We're going to get a path that goes all the way out here, trying to avoid the farmland as much as possible, because it would be nice to, to utilize that. We're going to make a makeshift hearth. So what a makeshift hearth does is it means that they can take their breaks here at this makeshift hearth instead of having to come all the way back here to hang out around the real hearth. So I'm going to set this back a little bit. And then we should be able to make like farms and housing and shit like that. I agree, Psychanthrope. The music is absolutely excellent. I find myself easily able to f maintain my focus. And it's just, it's beautiful. And we'll make a trapper camp down here, which will harvest these insects. There we go. That's plenty to keep my folks busy for a long time. We're making an entire separate settlement over here. But the big thing we want is packs of provisions. So we eventually need to make a A makeshift post, which I'm going to set right over here. And that's going to be the high priority thing, because that's what I really need. Speed up. We have the storm coming pretty quick, though, so we got to be careful. Although it looks like we got plenty of provisions, we got plenty of resources, we got plenty of resolve. I think I'm not worried about this particular storm. Now, we're supposed to be making packs of provisions. And we're going to make them out of meat because that's what we've got the most of. And actually, can I make a second to make this faster? A second makeshift post. Okay, the storm is upon us. Everyone's resolve goes down, but again, we all seem like we're doing pretty good at the moment. Uh -huh. 
And in fact, I'm pretty sure we can AFK at this point and we will, we will get done what we need to get done. Idling? Why are you idling? Okay, and that is 12 out of 10 packs of provisions. We get some newcomers. Cannibalism. Gain 25 meat every time a villager dies or leaves. Fun times. Uh, nets add plus two to meat production. Definitely picking that up. Finishing up our reward. It'll, it'll give us some reputation as well as some better recipes. And that's it. We're done with that. We are moving on. Not bad. Definitely enjoying the hell out of this game. 